All right, in this guitar instructional video, we're going to talk about this major scale. Uh, it's, a, it's a pentatonic major. That means you're only using five different notes. And it's called, believe it or not, the Mongolian scale. Mongolian scale. I never really heard of it before. And I don't know if it's based off of, you know, Mongolian music. And chances are that it, it is. You could research it. But I think I can tell you that the capital of Mongolia is Ulaanbaatar. So it, it, um, it's a major pentatonic scale. So once again, that means they only, you're only using five different notes. And we're starting it in uh, F sharp. So that's the uh, second fret on the sixth string with your first finger. And it's a really easy, easy pattern. I mean, you can just play it. Four, one, four, one, four. <laughs> you could even use your first and third finger to start out. So that's essentially, yeah, you're just using your first and third finger, or your first and fourth fingers, and you just got to remember, <laughs> like I just didn't remember there. And, you know, it sounds like it's got that old classic sound like it. Like a, it's like the beginning of a of a any song that you know, like a slow song starts off like with a major scale. So this is the Mongolian scale, major pentatonic, and there it is. And we're also going to give you another scale too. Uh, you know, I'm going to give you another major pentatonic that you could do more with. So um. Fingering, so on and so forth, and the strings. Mongolian, so it's pretty good. I mean, it's nice to be able to come across something that, that's different. Um, the other scale that I want to give you, I'm sure some of you have seen it, uh, but this, this scale was one of the two scales that gave me a lot of confidence and helped me to become the guitar player that I am. You know, I've been playing for... She's over 44 years, and uh, but this scale, it's another major pentatonic. It's, I'm going to play also an F uh, sharp, and it's the um, it's a major pentatonic up and across. Let's do that again. So you're really going up and down the guitar neck, I and mean, be sure to transpose this one as well. It, um... Sometimes to me, it's got like a, a minor sound, especially that part right there, but it is considered a major pentatonic scale up and across, and this scale, besides the pentatonic scale with the extension, is what gave me confidence, as well as, you know, different avenues to pursue and to navigate the guitar neck. So, <coughs> excuse me, if you've never played this scale before, it's a great scale to learn. So we're gonna start once again in F sharp, so this is gonna be the sixth string, second fret of the first finger, and we're gonna give a one, three slide. Now you're going to play the sixth and fourth string and the fifth and third strings the same way. Different frets, same pattern. So, see what I'm doing? Second, then the fourth to the sixth. Second fret, first finger. Fourth to sixth fret on the sixth string, third finger. Now on the fifth string, I'm playing the fourth and sixth frets with the first and third fingers. And then we're playing fourth and sixth, fourth, sixth, slide up to the eighth with the third finger, just like on the first finger, uh, sixth string with your third finger. Then you're just gonna play the sixth and eighth like you did on the fifth string, but you're playing the sixth and eighth frets 
the first and third fingers. Here we go again. <coughs> that part is right there. Let me give you that section. This is what you do when you're running out of paper. Got to get some more printed off. You draw six parallel lines, put the numbers up there, put, you know, six through one, the strings. Then you get the fret numbers and you put the fingering underneath there. So, so one, three, you slide that right there. So this six string and the fourth string, the same patterns as, as the fifth and the third. And that, there you have Now we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to use different fingerings. So by the time that you get to the second string, you're on the seventh fret in F sharp, major pentatonic, the up and across. And my teacher said, just remember, up and across scale. So... Once again, I'm on the seventh fret. Second string with my second finger. Then I go to the ninth fret, kind of a reach with the third finger. Slide from the ninth to the eleventh with your third finger on the second string. And then put your first and third fingers on the ninth and eleventh frets of the first string. So once you get that part, this is the hardest part, I think. Then you're home. So if you, if you know a pentatonic scale, the, the minor, that's going to be easy. And all, all we're playing is the 14th, 11th frets, 14th, 11th frets, with the 4th and 1st fingers, uh, both on the 1st and 2nd strings. Then on the 3rd, 4th and 5th strings, you're going to use your 3rd, first fingers on the 13th and 11th frets and you're going to stop with your fourth finger six string 14th fret so all of that is looking real good that's it right there that's your um f sharp major pentatonic the up and across one of the best scales ever to learn doesn't come any better than that you know <clears throat> a lot of scales that just use five different notes. They use more than five notes, but you're using five different notes. You know, there's eight notes in the scale, seven different notes in all of those major and minor scales. I'm just going to focus on some major and minor scales. But, you know, if you're playing like in the key of F sharp... See, I played the minor scale... But if we played F, that's the major pentatonic. That time I just put a little bit of a chromatic in there. You can add a note or two if it sounds pretty good, you know. As long as you get to that final note. Because if you're playing when you're performing, it, it, there's uh, studies done that, you know, the average listener, if he or she hear, hears a, a note, and they get that in their head, and you get the notes in between, as long as you resolve on the, that first couple of notes, then, then you're, you're in good shape. And then you can go off on tangents, improvise. So these scales are very beneficial. This is the uh, up and across. Don't, don't forget to check out trying to play that Mongolian. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Keep playing and have fun.